My father's sister, uh, she was a Flynn, Bridget Flynn, Bridget O'Flynn, I guess. Well, she married a man named uh, Jim McDermott. His brother, Jim McDermott's brother, my aunt's brother-in-law, was the famous uh, McDermott, had one of the seven men started the revolt. And uh, it's a statue of him in Kilty Claha, and he's my, my aunt's uh, brother-in-law. His name is McDermott, I think. Was he the IRA? Was he the IRA? Yeah, yeah. He was one of the Sen Fens, I guess, the, oh, the original really? ones. The original. Wow. And uh, he, uh, the English were taking all the food and everything. The English were very mean to them. They hated the English, the Irish. Oh, I know. They and that's one of the reasons. They, they were living high on the hog. Look at the way they lived in those days, you know, the, the rich ones. She said they were taking everything that they had. When they could have been helping them give them food, they didn't give it to them. So anyway, they knew that, and that's why they went, left. So after seeing this video of Mom, um, I started researching this a bit, and it, and I, it seems like it's all true, um, that um, Mom's Aunt Bridget was married to James McDermott, uh, who was a brother was Sean McDermott, who always also went by Sean uh, MacDiamarda. And he was one of the original seven, who basically eventually led to the independence of Ireland from England, although it turned kind of bad with the IRA and everything like that. But, you know, it was sort of the basis. If you go in, if you're in Ireland and you mention that you're any way related to Sean McDermott, uh, the original seven, there, everyone will look at you and go, really? It's a big, big deal. It's almost like being having your your grandmother's, your, your mom's aunt related to George Washington's brother. So, I mean, it's a big, big deal. So anyway, um, I'm going to play for you a, a song that we heard at a pub, and we actually heard at several pubs. And if you go into any pub and they play the song, everyone sings along. And, um, well, here's the story behind uh, Grace, this incredible song, which uh, is kind of touching, but um, pretty much happened in the same prison that our kind of somewhat related relative was put to death. And in 1916, seven Irishmen signed the proclamation of, don't you be looking at me! <laughs> Sign the, she will sing again later on. Catherine will sing later on. Come on, Catherine. Uh, they signed the Proclamation of Independence, which led to the Easter Rising in Dublin, particularly in a building called the GPO, the General Post Office. It was put down very viciously, very quickly. The seven were imprisoned in Kilmainham Jail, and if you have been to Dublin and will visit it, great. If you are going to Dublin, you have a chance to visit, you should. It's a very, very special place. One of those signatories, in fact, the youngest of the signatories was Joseph Mary Plunkett. He was a poet, and he was engaged to be married to Grace Gifford, another young woman, a young poetess. And on the night before he was executed, he was executed on the 4th of May, on the night before he was executed, he got permission to bring a Catholic priest and Grace into the prison, and they were married. So they were basically married for one night. This song was penned in 1988 by two brothers in Dublin, and it basically tells that story in the words of Plunkett himself. So, uh, I attempted at least. As we gather in the chapel here in old Kilmainham jail, I think about these past few weeks. Oh, will they say we failed? From our school days, we were taught that we should care for liberty. But all I want in this dark place is to have you here with me. Oh, Grace, just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger. They'll take me out at dawn and I will die. With all my love, I place this wedding ring upon 
on your finger. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. Now I know it's hard for you, my dear, to ever understand the love I have for this brave man, the love of this dear land. But when Padre called me to his side, down in the GPO, I had to leave my own sick bed, with him I had to go. <coughs> oh Grace, just hold me in your arms, and let this moment linger, then take me out at all. will be of you <laughs> and I write some words upon the wall so everyone will know he loves so much that you could see his blood upon the rose oh grace just hold me in your arms and let this moment linger then take me out and all There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye. There won't be time to share our love, for we must say goodbye.